economy. Imagine that. Think about it. We got a guy line up on the stage. He suffered a heart attack. Up shows the EMS guys. They whip out the panels. Some guy yells clear and turns to his neighbor and says, "This will only take a week or two. <laughs> Poor guy, be dead." And that's exactly what we're doing with the stimulus bill. Taking this money and spending it out over the course of the next decade. Hey, hey, hey. Then finally, hey, oh, no. then finally, we were told hey, about this hey, four million jobs. And instead, what we've got is we've got unemployment today at 9.6 percent, and fewer people working today than in February of 2009 when this bill was passed. It's a failure. It's a failure for the reason. It's a failure for the reason because the president ill-designed this bill. This bill was not well constructed. It was not designed to create jobs and to give the American economy a jolt. It was designed for one purpose and one purpose only, and that was spend money. If you take a look, for example, at this document that was issued on January 9th of 2009, 11 days before the president was even sworn in, he was out there laying the predicate for the stimulus bill. And in this document, which incidentally is available on the internet, all you got to do is Google Romer Bernstein Stimulus January 9th, 2009, and up that darn thing will pop. That internet, it's a wonderful thing.